new report by United Arab Emirates newspaper The National claims that torture is still happening in Iraq's prisons. The report focuses on Amjad al dayawi who describes being kept in a squalid and overcrowded Baghdad prison cell for two months, in which he was beaten with electrical cable and eventually raped. Such brutal interrogation practices were not uncommon under Saddam Hussein, but Diyawi was not one of the former dictator's victims. Instead, the 24-year-old is among a growing number who say they have been tortured by the security services in the new democratic Iraq. Shatha Alabosi, a member of the Iraq Parliament's Human Rights Commission, says there have been numerous cases of abuse of prisoners and that many have no idea why they have been taken to jail. Abosi said, quote, I visited the prison in Kadamia and there were complaints of hideous torture by Iraqi investigators and officers. Many complained of brutal rapes committed against them. I have seen them at close quarters and they are very bad. Most prisoners are suffering from some infectious disease and epidemics may spread because of the neglect in large numbers of prisoners. In June, the Iraqi interior minister announced that more than 40 police officers had been charged with abusing prisoners. Investigators found inmates had been jailed without warrants and that other basic rights had been violated. The same month, Harith al obaidi a member of Iraqi parliament and a major campaigner against prisoner abuse, was murdered after vocally raising human rights cases.